Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 428. Spinal Thalmic Track. What is the functionality of the lateral spinal thalmic track? The functionality of the lateral spinal thalmic track is for pain and temperature. What is the functionality of the anterior spinal thalmic track? The functionality of the anterior spinal thalmic track is for crude touch and pressure. Describe the spinal thalmic track. To learn about the spinal thalmic track, we're going to look at this picture uh, once again. This time we're going to look at the blue line instead of the red line because the red line is for the dorsal column, the medial lemniscal pathway, which we have already talked about. So this time we're going to look at this blue line here, which is for the spinal thalmic track. So in spinal thalmic track, these uh, neurons will make its way all the way up to the somatic sensory cortex. So starting off with the receptor, so these um, sensory nerve endings right here have A delta and C fibers. So these neurons will uh, relay this information. So these neurons will go up to the cell body and the dorsal root ganglion, as you see here. Then it will make its way to the spinal cord at the level of, uh, as you can see here, it's entering the spinal cord and that's where it's going to have it. Describe the spinal thalamic tract. The spinal thalamic tract. Describe the spinal thalamic tract. To understand the spinal thalamic tract, we're going to look at this picture once again, and this time we're going to look at the blue line instead of the red line. The red line is what we have already talked about, and that was for the dorsal column, the medial lemniscal pathway. But now we're going to look at this blue line, which talks about the spinal thalamic tract. And here we're going to look at these neurons making its way all the way up to the somatic sensory cortex. So at the fingertip right here, as you can see a picture of a finger here, there is sensory nerve endings. And they would have A delta and C fibers. This will make its way to the dorsal root ganglion, as you can see right here. So this is the dorsal root ganglion cell. And then eventually this will enter the spinal cord, as you see here. So it's entering the spinal cord at this level, and it's going to have its first synapse here at the ipsilateral gray matter. So this is the level of the first synapse. And everything before this is the first order neuron. So this is the first synapse on the ipsilateral gray matter. Then uh, the neurons are going to decusate at the anterior white commissure, which is right here. And so you see that right here. And then it will ascend contralaterally. So as we're seeing here, it's switching sides and it's ascending contralaterally. All right, so this is the second order neuron. So after the first synapse, all of this is second order neuron. Then it's going to have a second synapse, which is going to be at the level of VPL. VPL stands for vent uh, the ventral posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus. So that is right here. And then it's going to make its way to the sensory cortex. And this is the third order neuron. So this is basically the anatomy of the spinal thalamic tract. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.